it's hard to know, but what is for sure the case is that House Republicans, Senate Republicans, the Republicans in Congress are not going to stick up for border security unless President Trump says in a hard way he's not going to sign anything that doesn't include funding for the wall. He needs to be, this is where like conservative presidential leadership, I believe is really important. Um, and this is his signature issue, right? This is his issue that he ran on. This is the issue that it was most recognizable from his campaign. It was his promise to his voters. And if he doesn't follow through on this, this could be as bad as when George H.W. Bush said, read my lips, no new taxes, and then went ahead and signed a tax uh, tax increase. This would be really, really devastating, I think, for President Trump's chances in 2020. And it would be a betrayal of his voters. Right. I agree. And I think a lot of Trump voters feel that same way. I mean, all you have to do is look on Twitter, look at the conservative blogosphere to see how betrayed people feel by this and how much they're rooting, not just for President Trump, for, but for Congress to do the job we hired them to do, secure our borders. It's not that difficult. It's not rocket scientists. And they told us we would. That's one of the reasons that we hired them instead of their opposition. When it comes to a government shutdown, though, I think the fears are from some Republicans that the American people, the voters, the electorate are going to blame Republicans instead of Democrats for the government shutdown. Should the president uh, stand strong enough that he goes ahead with, by the way, it's only about a 20 percent shutdown of the government, 80 percent of it's already funded. Should he go ahead with this even in the face of threats over public opinion from the left? I absolutely think he should. And I think government shutdowns, quote unquote, as you just point out, it's really uh, the non-essential services that are shut down. It is an inconvenience, but I think they're way, it's way blown out of proportion in the Beltway. It's something that people within the Beltway care a whole lot about. There are a lot of people who work for the government. Um, it impacts the region strongly. But I think it's one of those things where the rest of America cares not nearly as much. We heard a lot about the 2010 shutdown, the potential for a 2010 shutdown and how that was going to kill Republicans. It really didn't. It was really not a factor in the next election. I don't think this is one of those things that political strategists are terrified of that I don't actually think reflects reality of what the American people actually care about. So I, I think that this is a winnable issue for Republicans. I think border security, basic border security is an 80-20 issue in America. This is absolutely something that Republicans should stand up and fight on regardless of being afraid of some polls that say, yeah, we don't like the government shutdown. At the end of the day, the American people want border security and they're going to respect President Trump for fulfilling his campaign promise. This is why he was elected. If he doesn't do this, a lot of people are going to feel like, why did we elect this guy? Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.